Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to the Gecko Guild. Today I would like to share with all of you my own adventure into the wholesome and pixelated land of Hawk Peak Provincial Park. That's right, I recently had the pleasure of enjoying a short hike, and I want to share my experiences with all of you and explain why this incredibly short game managed to totally capture my heart. This video is going to be part of an ongoing series where I discuss what made me fall in love with various games I've played. Think of these videos less as a review and more as an analysis of what makes me so passionate about games and the worlds that exist within them. For me, the beauty of a short hike comes from its simplicity. It's just a game about going for a short hike, and yet, despite its simplicity, or maybe because of it, it's able to accomplish so much more. Your only real objective is to reach the top of Hawk Peak to try and get cell reception so Claire, the main character, can reach her mom. But how you get there and what you choose to do before that is totally up to you, which lends to the magic of the game. There's so much to explore, from items such as coins and tools, to other people in the park who each have a unique and charming personality. The game, from the outset, encourages you to enjoy the scenery at your own pace. There's no deadline, crisis, or pressure to push forward other than your own curiosity and your own willingness to explore the park around you. This makes a short hike so undeniably relaxing. It just oozes with feelings of calm and wholesomeness, and every aspect of the game, from the aesthetics to the music, encourages the player to unwind and enjoy the experience. And I did enjoy it, wholeheartedly. I want to emphasize that when I say this game is relaxing, I don't mean to say that it was boring. On the contrary, I didn't want the game to end. Theoretically, it's possible to rush to the end very quickly, but I found myself exploring every inch of the park because I wanted to continue enjoying the scenery and meeting new people. This sheer enjoyment, for me, was amplified by Claire's mobility. As an anthropomorphic bird, she is able to fly and glide around the park. This allows you to reach areas that would otherwise be inaccessible by foot. As you explore and find new areas and new people to chat with, you'll be able to earn golden feathers that will allow you to fly higher, climb longer, and run further, which results in a very natural progression that encourages you to explore more of the park with almost total freedom. This freedom allows you to appreciate the world around you, which is presented to you in a beautiful 3D pixelated aesthetic that evokes the charm and nostalgia of much older games. This aesthetic is complemented by a beautiful soundtrack that dynamically shifts as you move around the park, which adds to the feeling of wonder and relaxation that defines the game. The park is undeniably beautiful, and it's filled with so many enjoyable activities. You can go fishing, race against people, discover hidden treasure, go for a boat ride, and enjoy a new game invented by some close friends. All these activities are wholesome and enjoyable, and they never make you feel stressed, sad, or frustrated when you participate. My absolute favorite part of the game, however, were the stories that were shared with Claire whenever you decided to interact with characters you came across in the park. This game made me care deeply about characters who would only ever speak a few lines to me over the course of the entire game, and that's very impressive. In particular, my favorite character is a painter who is at the park to find inspiration by painting landscapes, but is struggling to see the value of their work. Through your interactions with this character, you're able to experience how they feel, and to encourage them to enjoy the process. It's through characters like this, and through all the activities you can participate in, that the game shows its charm. I love this game, and everything it has to offer. On that note, I want to thank Adam Robinson Yu for creating this game, and I want to recommend it to anyone who may want to spend a relaxed afternoon enjoying the scenery. As for me, I plan to return to the game very soon to relish in the atmosphere of Hawk Peak Provincial Park. If you enjoyed watching the video, then please consider liking and subscribing for more content just like this. Also, be sure to come hang out on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash arcadeashland, where I regularly stream indie games such as A Short Hike, and consider joining my Discord community called The Arcade. Farewell everyone, I'll see you all in the next video, and I wish you well on your next glorious gecko adventure.